Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren seems to be positioning herself as a Democratic attack dog, opposing key members of President Trump's administration. Mr. Sessions has used the awesome power of his office to chill the free exercise of the vote by black citizens. Congressman Price has a lot of experience in health care policy. Yes, he has experience, but it is the kind of experience that should horrify you. All right, both Sessions and Price have since been confirmed. So are Democrats putting their future in danger by elevating Warren to the party's throne? Here to debate it, former Ohio State Senate Minority Leader Capri Cafaro and Joe Borelli, a New York City councilman and contributor for The Hill. Uh, Capri, I'll start with you first. Sure. Is this the right strategy to, put, to elevate her to the throne of the party? Frankly, I don't think it's a strategy by the Democratic Party. Um, you know, number one, I've always said that in order for Democrats to be successful, particularly in this environment, you know, I'm from Ohio. Number one, we need to recruit a better farm team um, that can actually talk to the middle of the country rather than focusing on the coast, for example, like places like Massachusetts. But we also need to get younger people into the fray so we're not ending up with people that are, you know, in their 50s, 60s, and 70s running for president of the United States. That being said, um, I believe. I believe that in this particular context, it's actually Mitch McConnell that has elevated the position of Elizabeth Warren by utilizing Rule 19 to silence her on the floor of the Senate. She's turned into a martyr, and you know Democrats have, have capitalized on that. So she's going to have to get past uh, you know folks like Cory Booker. Um, but I think this is short-lived, at least for now. But clearly, after we witnessed that moment, her being silenced on the floor during that debate, Joe, uh, she is becoming a, a, a leading voice, one could say of the party. So is, I mean, is that going to be effective for Democrats or is it time that they stop, look within and make some changes based on what we just witnessed in 2016? Well, well you're right. Uh, and in essence, probably Mitch McConnell did help her street cred within the Democratic Party mm -hmm. uh, by triggering Article 19. But the reality is she's just appealing to the cheap, sheets, uh, cheap seats in her own party. Uh, she's going after that very militant, very vocal base, the, the same base we see on TV, uh, rioting, protesting and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. It's true to, 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 to realize that Hillary Clinton lost some support uh, within her party because she wasn't liberal enough. But Democrats, like Capri sort of indicated, have to realize that they lost the election because they lost middle class, middle of America voters. What does someone like uh, Elizabeth Warren, what is she dangling out there to get voters in the 23 states that the Senate, uh, the Senate Dems have to defend this year back? I don't think she's right. doing anything. And you, Capri, you do see uh, both Republicans and Democrats now, now trying to appeal to those same uh, middle class voters. Right. Who are the rising stars of this party? What, what do Democrats have to look forward to? Well, you know, I, I have to say that, you know, my own member of Congress, uh, Tim Ryan, uh, and his challenge to Nancy Pelosi, uh, you know, he's 43 years old. Uh, you know, he's somebody that has represented the, the uh, what we call, unfortunately, the Rust Belt um, in the Midwest since 2002. And, and so, you know, here's somebody that I think is going to be in it for the long haul. Um, you know, we have a number of other younger folks um, that maybe are not as well known as, as Congressman Ryan, but we have also other young members of Congress. Uh, in places like Arizona, Ruben Gallego, Texas, um, with Joaquin Castro. But, you know, I, we do need to, frankly, this starts, you know, not at the congressional level, but at city council, mm -hmm. county commission, um, the state legislative level. Mm -hmm. And we have to do a better job of recruiting candidates in and also focusing on widespread redistricting reform so we actually have competitive districts right. where we can recruit good people. Joe, I just have a few seconds left. So how would you address that question as we leave this off? Is Elizabeth Warren one to watch in Washington? No, no. She, she is the embodiment of, of sort of this collective amnesia uh, that the Democratic Party is suffering through, uh, where we're not supposed to remember that she worked with people like Jeff Sessions, where we're not supposed to remember that, that most of the things Donald Trump is doing were once mainstream Democratic positions. Oh, uh, she's right. not helping her party. All right. Capri, Joe, thanks to both of you for coming on. Thanks.